Oh, cool. I wonder what this does. <laughs> James Bond had an EMP on his Omega Seamaster in No Time to Die. But for less than 1%, I was shocked with the Paula Rise Octopus Tribute Watch. What can be said about Primo? He was an agent of Spectre that betrayed us and paid the price. Today we discuss a similar murder weapon on The Bond Report. Okay, one of the things I told myself when I started this channel was that I wanted to shed light on items that everyday Bond fans could get into. There are many, many premium brands out there. And for many fans of the 007 franchise, that's a huge draw. And for the lucky fans out there who can actually afford those high ticket items, more power to you, strong flex. But on the other hand, there's about 10 times more fans that just can't. And to that point, I give you the Paula Rice Octopus Watch. All right, let's flip it. To be very clear, guys, Paula Rise did not compensate me in any way to do this review. I purchased this with my own money to see exactly what the experience would feel like and see how their customer service would respond if any complications arose. Got a blue box with more Paula Rise branding, and it is Paula Rise. It's two separate words. I've heard some people pronounce it Polaris. It's not Polaris. I, I did confirm that with them. So just to be clear, it is Paula Rise. And when we open, there's a small thank you card on top. Then there's a small pamphlet, which isn't the best quality. And then there's the watch, which was sitting on a small pillow. They did add this other little piece of branding with a hang tag. And guys, this looks so much better than other people's packaging. I've seen these things arrive in nothing more than a bubble mailer in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> and here's the watch itself. She really is quite heavy, weighing at 118 grams. It is just under a 42 millimeter diagonal bezel, 16 millimeters deep, which gives you a very premium look and feel. I'll leave all the specs on the watch in the description below so you can look at those. But the bezel is a full 60 click aluminum piece. It doesn't feel cheap at all. If you're going for the look of the No Time to Die Omega without the price tag, guys, I just don't see how you can go wrong. They got all the major details right. Some smaller things are off, but that's, again, to be expected. The helium release dial, which is only for show and does not move, still feels like it belongs there and is solid. The glass has a bevel to it, which I like, and adds depth to the appearance, especially at an angle. All in all, it screams class. The bracelet is not titanium like the Omega, of course but does move and wear very well. I love the two button snaps that lock into place. It feels like a much more premium part of the watch at first, which brings me to my first of only two complaints I have about this watch. The bracelet has come unlatched on me two times now, and the whole piece landed on the floor with a clunky thud. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you push against this right here, you'll see that it can force the lock to release and the whole thing can slide off your wrist freely. This could just be me. And I will say both times I was trying to put my backpack on and my strap snagged the watch and pulled it. So this could be operator error, but no other watch I own has this design element either. I did not order the NATO strap, which I may do now for a solution for a daily wear. Now, my second and much larger complaint is that there is zero illumination on this watch. So in the dark, you're pulling out your phone. There's no way around it. And I feel like for another 20 bucks, maybe applying some glow paint to the hands and markers would have been a game changer. For a budget automatic movement tribute watch, clearly this just was not a focus. For your sake, I hope you are finding value in this report. Strike the thumbs up button to pledge your allegiance to Spectre. So again, guys, I'm shocked. For the money, it's a great value. Now, some people have said that the tooling and everything, you know, it's a little rough around the edges. To that, I gotta say, guys, it's a tribute watch for right around $100.
So you gotta have a little give and take. I would happily recommend this watch to any 007 fan right now. I'm gonna be wearing it as long as I can, but the nice thing is, if you get it from Polo Rise directly, it does come with a one year manufacturer warranty. Shop around though, check on eBay, check some other sites. I think I've seen this as low as even like $35 US. So if it's something that you're considering, there are other options out there, but as I said earlier, I wanted to see what it was like to go th directly through the manufacturer and see that entire experience. Now, I've got some new content coming down the pipeline and it's like nothing I've ever done before. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing and make sure you click that bell icon that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks for watching and as always, Merry Christmas 007.